I'm a big picture. Big picture. Big kind of person. And I'm usually reliable, and I'm usually sober. What are you looking at? I can't go two days without sex. I've been multi-orgasmic since I was eight. I gotta work late tonight. How do I know that you're not standing on a chair with a noose around your neck? Oh, oh. If I tell you this, you're not gonna like me anymore. I miss you so much. I'm sure I'll like you just as much as I like you right now. You're nothing like Paul's wife. You really are the kindest person I've ever met. Oh. Hug. When Paul and I get married, <laughs> I would do everything differently if I were you, and you would do everything differently if you were me. That's such a brilliant idea. It's actually a great idea. The way to fix our lives is to stop making our own decisions and let the other one make them instead. You would really do anything I said? Is it okay if I have sex with him? Maybe it's gonna be me telling you what to do. Tell your husband you're in love with someone else. Who is he? I didn't have an affair. Well, yeah, but that's so easy to fix. Something that my husband's girlfriend wanted me to do. If I just get brain damaged, do you promise to hold a pillow over my face? That's just too much of a pact. I'm an actress. Shakespeare! Shut up! I hadn't even thought about a woman playing King Lear. I play Lear. And who should play the fool? I have nice breasts. See? Do you want to hear about our first kiss? When was our last first kiss? And did we even know it was our last? Then our first kisses were gone forever. That's the best thing about being old. I'm gonna duck in the coat room and have a quick go. This is my husband, mm -hmm. Paul. Husband. If I were you. That's life. And then somebody pulls the rug out from under us and we wish we were dead, but let's not think about that.